Let's see how to include Vue.js in a project or an application. Now there are a couple of ways to do that and all of them are listed in the Vue.js website. Now, the first one of course is to download the development or production JavaScript file and then reference it in your application using a script tag. The second way is to use a CDN. Now I find this to be the simplest way which is why we will be using the CDN for the initial set of videos in this series. The third way is to use npm. For this approach, you need to download Node.js which will also download npm for you. And then you can run the command npm install view which is going to download the view package. Now after that, you can again reference the minified Vue.js file using a script tag. Finally, we can also use the view CLI. Now we will be using this for the later part of the series when we need to learn about components, dot view files and so on. But I don't want to go in depth on this right now. Now there are tons of concepts to learn first and become familiar with Vue.js, which is exactly what we are going to do. We will have a separate video dedicated to Vue CLI, so don't worry about it too much right now. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, we will be using the CDN to get started. Now I'm going to copy the recommended link, control C, and I will be using Visual Studio Code as my editor for this particular series, but feel free to use the editor of your choice. Now what I've done is created a folder called getting started with an index.html file with some basic HTML elements. Now to get started, create a new script tag at the bottom of the body tag. So script and a source for the script is going to be the CDN and you're all set. Like I said, it's really simple to get started with Vue.js and as always, you can find all the source code on my GitHub repo and the link is in the description.